Live on your sideline is sponsored by Sidon Stricker Novi John Deere. Well, there's nothing quite like playoff hockey, and we saw a fun one last night at Enterprise Center. As the Blues advanced, welcome into Five on Your Sideline. I'm Corey Miller. And I'm Hannah Yates. The Blues advanced to the second round, and we break it all down coming up. But first tonight, we shine some light on the prep scene. Corey, up first. All right, first up, we got to highlight the Francis Howell baseball program. Coming into today, they are an impressive 27-8 and eight on the season. They also have the area home run leader in Brett Northfleet who's committed to be a tight end for Mizzou in college. And their legendary coach, Tony Perkins, recently eclipsed 600 career wins. 2022 looks like a special year for the Vikings. The John Burroughs baseball team is looking for its first district title since the early 2000s, and they're well on their way. The Bombers went 23 and 4 this season with just one roster, senior on their roster rather. Burroughs coach Scott Deacon says this is one of the best teams he's ever been a part of, and it comes down to a mentality established early on. Our senior John Bucca um, talked, and he said um, one of his quotes was. Um, if we if we have fun and we and we play for each other, um, we're going to win a lot of games, uh, and and that's what we've done. We've got some new state champs in town to recognize. The SLU Junior Billikens took home the state rugby crown this past weekend, knocking off rival Rockhurst from Kansas City, who were throwing some trash talk the Bills' way after a slow start this season. SLU defended their title and are building their way to a dynasty in their hard-fought championship over the. The chirps from Rockhurst, that's just the latest high point. I think that's kind of why we, uh, we played so well, because we're just like, you know what, we're not going to chirp them back. We're just going to let them see what we can do, and uh, we, we hit them back. It was just really satisfying to know, like, even their coaches were chirping us, so it was just satisfying to know that we finally beat them, that they can't really do anything and have our game back us up. I feel like uh, it's been a dynasty long before I was been here and just keeping the dynasty up is what my job is. I knew they were way better than they were playing, and so it was really gratifying to see them figure it out and believe in themselves and get the job done. In other Junior Bills news, Five on Your Side has learned that Mike Jones has been relieved of his duties as head football coach at SLU. The former Missouri Tiger and Rams Super Bowl hero went 17-28 and in five years at SLU, leading the team to a 7-4 record last season. The Clayton girls lacrosse team is set on making a run following their 9-5 finish. It's a drastic improvement from their 6-9 record last season, and there's one main reason why. Senior Paige Walrisher set a personal goal of scoring 200 goals during her time with the varsity team, and she did more than that. She leads the St. Louis area with scoring with 110 goals and 29 assists this season alone. That means she's averaging nearly 8 goals per game, and she's one of very few players to do it in this area ever. It felt kind of special to be part of that group. Um, but as far as like going into the season, I think it was really just team goals, not personal goals, um, really just wanting to build up the team. She's kind of the reason why we are where we are. Um, she's a leader. She's competitive. Her, her drive alone is what helps this team just continue to push forward. And now here's a cool story. Look at these athletes. These are champions from the city of the champions, East St. Louis. This is the Flyers Special Olympics track team, and they are dominant. They have won their region, and now they have dreams of a state title. Uh, they come out and work hard. They follow the guidance of their coaches. They listen well. And more importantly, it's the discipline that they have. Uh, they're dedicated to the crowd. We work very hard. We keep working. Got to keep working. Get better at everything we do and just keep working hard as much as we can. Chasing the Cup, sponsored by Car Shield. A week ago, I'd venture that a lot of you watching this program right now weren't all that high on the Blues' chances in the playoffs. They were down two games to one against the Wild in the first round and seemingly on their way down and out of the playoffs. Well, so much for that. Mad scientist Craig Berube pushed all the right buttons, and the Blues won three games in a row to dispatch the Wild in game six last night and move on to the second round. Berube changed up his lines, plugged holes in the injured defense, and made his biggest move, replacing Ville Husso in net with Jordan Bennington. It all worked and won the Blues their first playoff series since that magical 2019 Stanley Cup final. 
Here's the team on why they overcame the odds. You got to make you got to make decisions, and sometimes they're right, sometimes they're not. But you know, we all knew, we all know that we had two goalies that were capable of doing the job, and um, just wanted to change momentum and make a switch. And I think you know, with Benner going in there, it really nullified their forecheck, which is a real big part of their game. Guys have stepped up all year long and, and done a good job, and uh, that's what this team's about. And I just you know, had tried to have the mindset of going in there and just competing and giving the team a chance to win. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's exciting being out there and the atmosphere and, um, you know, just taking in those final seconds of the excitement of the, the city and, and the rink and um, the boys. It's, it's a good feeling. Great breakdown there, Hannah. And this second round series against the Avalanche should have a Stanley Cup final level of intensity to it. Colorado was arguably the best team in hockey during the regular season, running away with the top spot in the West. They walloped Nashville in their first round series, and starting goalie Darcy Kemper is back for the second round. The Blues will try to avenge last year's first round loss to the Avs starting next week. Well, if you're a Blues fan, you've probably seen this picture behind me before. The Prince of Darkness, Ozzy Osbourne, rocking a Blues jersey in a famous mugshot photo. Sunday on Sports Plus, I'll get to the bottom of this infamous photograph. But for now, here's hoping Ozzy is rooting for the Blues during this playoff run like he did back in 2019. But he's embraced it. As a matter of fact, the last time the Blues were uh, in the playoffs, well, I mean 2019 when they won the Stanley Cup, you know, he, he tweeted himself a uh, picture of himself wearing the Blues jersey. And said, and said, let's go Blues. So he was rooting for the Blues, you know. That was cool. That was awesome. The Cardinals open a series with the Giants tonight, and we take a look from Bush Stadium coming up next. The Cardinals offense has been all or nothing this season. They'll score 10 runs or one run. Well, let's see how the seesaw landed tonight against the Giants. Weird start to this one. Which glove is Jordan Hicks allowed to use? His multicolored one gets tossed and he goes all red. All right. Cards get the early lead on this ground out from Paul Goldschmidt, but that was it for a while. He had a home run later in the game. This double by Mike Yastrzemski to drive in two was a big blow. The Giants win tonight, eight to two. Congratulations to the number 22 ranked Mizzou softball team. They beat number 10 Tennessee today to move to the SEC championship game for the second time in program history. They haven't allowed a run yet in the SEC tournament. Good luck to the Tigers in the title game coming up tomorrow. My Z there, that's exciting. My Z and a big Z O U. <laughs> that is all of our time for Five on Your Sideline tonight. Join us tomorrow for more Cardinals and Blues playoff coverage. With Corey Miller, I am Hannah Yates. Have a great night. Just get that first hitter in the game. Five on your sideline was sponsored by Seidenstricker Noby John Deere.